fuck out of here. She can't. You know, she wanted to. Fuck out of here. She cannot. She knows the girl that shave room, though, too. So that could be her doing on this. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Hey, y'all so let's tune in i'm already in too deep so i already cut my nails off so what we gonna do what y'all want to talk about about how y'all gonna go download never again Never again. Oh, never again. Never again. I won't let my heart be broken. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Said I do, but you never did. I still see your face in every kid. Long time with a short fuse. Supported you to the very end. Pillow talk led to white sheets. Bagging hoes just to spite me. Yes. Made me hate my own reflection. Now you want someone just like me. Too long, too long, now I gotta move on, move on Do it all myself, what I need you for, you for no. Two more for, I gotta fall back Won't get a text or a call back I prayed for a gift and I found your receipts Now I gotta take it all back Who the fuck wanna get on my life with me? Hmm, hmm. hmm. Jason, hmm. I don't know how to do it, Jason <laughs> Are you people yeah. should He's on it. Damn. <laughs> okay, wait. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay. Exam. No. How do you type it? Do you search or something? Mm -hmm. Right here? Yeah. No, that's not right here. Right here? Mm -hmm. How do you find it? Two phones. Oh. Yeah, type this in. Let me see something. Okay, yeah, it didn't pop up. Y'all better get y'all popcorn ready because this is about to be a hoedown. <laughs> a one sided hoedown. <laughs> yes. I put up a lot of shit in life. Okay. I have one trigger word. If y'all know me, I have one trigger word my one trigger word is pull up okay i'm on my way <laughs> say no more i'm on my way let me finish my fucking clients i just don't get it like i don't get it i, I just don't get it like if you tell somebody to pull up that especially me i'm coming i'm on my way say no more And I am the fuck. The fuck I hang up for a fucking reason. You know, pull up. Those are fire. No, those are fire. No, it's not my marketing skills. Okay, like y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. I was never gonna say nothing about me and Remy's separation. Oh, can you go open the door? I, I was never gonna say anything. I was going to protect my family. And I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to dust it off the rug because it's embarrassing. And then all of a sudden, he freaking posted a long, slow-ass, hour-long video trying to make me bit bad and left out a lot of stuff. It took me four days. I was sick as fuck, y'all. I didn't even... I was so sick that I was so dehydrated. I was drinking so much water thinking, yo, know, like, I was so stressed out. I was so drained. I thought it was the diet pills I was taking that was making me so thirsty. But toxic people can make you so drain. Like, I thought I was going to die. And I went to clear up my mind. And it took me four days to make a response. And in those four days, he thought he came up. He gained subscribers. He had people attacking me. Shut up. He had people attacking me. And I was really stressed out. But if I was going to make a response video, I was going to make a you know I, 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 one that makes sense so I wrote down my list if you are watching my YouTube how I talked about it I wrote down my list I gave him his props I lined up my you know what I'm saying it's, it's embarrassing y'all this shit is so embarrassing like 
I cannot believe I spent 10 years with somebody. And you can't do me like that. Like, I, I can't believe that shit. And, oh, I knew about the bitch, but that was embarrassing to talk about, too. I didn't want to give the bitch no clout. But it, it was just like, I fought a lot of bitches in my life for a smaller reason. And you not about to, you not about to slide with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, pop up, guess who, bitch? Woo! Pop up, guess who, bitch? Woo! Ling, ling. Anyways, so she didn't answer the phone. I called her phone, and one of her friends answered the phone. Now, her friend fucked it up for her, because I thought I was talking to her. I was like, so yesterday, you know, I popped up, like, guess who, bitch, Ling Ling. And I said, and then I said, um, I said, you know what? Come to the shops, because I came to visit you. So, you know, I'm going to be a shop all day. So, you know, come pay me a visit. So the day is almost over. You still haven't showed up. So I was like, okay, let me call you. I said, hey, what's up? I thought it was her, but her friend answered the phone. And who has the her friends answer the phone? I don't know. <laughs> but then her, her friend was like, okay, well, pull up. Say no more, sis. I'm on my way. Let me finish these clients, and I'm on my way. That's a trigger word for me. If you tell me to pull up, short, I'm pulling up, Okay. Don't, that, that, dang dong, pop up, guess who, bitch, pop up, guess who, bitch, ling, ling, I was mad as shit, I could she wouldn't come to the, I, I even, I started plucking her bushes, <laughs> and so, and then, instead of her answering me, she can't even look at me in my face, she can't even answer the phone, she sends one of her fucking water bugs to text me, <laughs> Her fucking friend looked like a fucking Walmart water bug. And the whole time, the friend is like, okay, okay. She said to me, this is what she said. This is what they said. This is their reasoning. She said, just Brittany doesn't owe me any loyalty. Because when I text and confronted them, I put, I put him and her both in a text message, okay? Now, mind you, she can say, it. yeah, I try to fuck her. Me, my, I, me and him try to fuck her. I was like, and what? Yeah, bitch, I try to fuck you, and what? So that's a typical lot of a hoe. What other? What you got on me? Yeah, bitch, I try to fuck you. What's up? And so after that, I, I felt, you know, I've been with this motherfucker for 10 years. Our, our relationship was falling apart anyways. So woman to woman, you come to my parties. You come to my events. You saying happy birthday to me. I, I'm not a hater. I put all of my friends on, especially if you are female, like, artist. Um, I, I support women. And... So I support women, and I remember at uh, y'all remember when I did where was that? It was a gay party. Where was it? Oh uh, no, it's another one. Oh, or so, I don't know. I did I did a party somewhere, and I put her on, and she got on the mic. Just Brittany got on the mic, and she said, "Shout out to lovely Mimi for being the realest bitch." Mind you, I think this was the time that she was on Love and Hip Hop, and nobody on the show liked her. And she got on the mic and she was like, shout out to lovely Mimi for being a real bitch, for never switching up on me. Mind you, I hear people rumor, people tell me, don't fuck with her because that bitch will fuck your man. This bitch will do this, this bitch will do that. And I felt bad for her because she didn't have no friends. Don't nobody fuck with her. And I'm not going to judge nobody because I don't want anybody judging me. But I was smart about it. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't tell her my secret. I didn't get that close to her. But I invited her to my parties. And I put her, you know, on the stage. And I let her perform her music. I told the DJ, you know, spin her shit. She got on the mic. She was like, shout out to lovely Mimi for being the villain bitch. Never switching up on me. So the fact that you even said that, bitch, it'd be different if you didn't say that shit. If you never got on the mic and said that shit. But you got on the mic to tell me that I, you fuck with me for for being real, being real to you, giving and you, you a chance. Be fake, you weak ass bitch. And then we can't go. When I so say then, weak ass, you say Britney. Britney's <laughs> a weak ass bitch. Weak ass so, bitch. So then, <laughs> as I posted it, if you look on my page or whatever <laughs> video she just showed, in April at my birthday party. She came over and she sung happy birthday to me. Okay. So mind you, it was young MA, it was young MA, it was young MA pool party. And she was there. And this one I knew. 
Remy was burnt the fuck out. This is what I knew. Like, he started losing brain cells. Like, he already always been slow. But this is when I confirmed, like, yo, you're burnt out. Like, you're burnt out. You have lost your soul. You have lost your mind. We were sitting at Young M.A. pool party. He, he looks at me. He's like, look at just Brittany. I said, okay, what about her? He's like, I feel bad for her. She don't have nobody. Sister. She don't got nobody on her side. I was like, okay, because she burnt all her bridges. And he was like, this is what I knew. I knew he was burnt out. He looked at me and said, she can drink. She just Britney can sing better than Johnny Blaze. What? I was like, dog, you're burnt out. Johnny Blaze can freaking play the piano and sing beautifully. And she don't use just her. Do you remember? She use her brain. Do you remember the videos that Johnny Blaze posts of just Britney singing "Happy Birthday"? And I was just like, yo, you burnt out. So I left it as that. I didn't think nothing about it. Later on, come to find out, he invited her to Young and May's pool party. So that's when I call her. I say, what's up, Just Brittany? And I was like, um, I was like, yo, what's going on with my husband? Mind you, me and him are already falling apart. I don't even fuck with him at this point. But I just want to know. So I call her. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I gave her the opportunity. So I say, yo, what's up with Rem? Uh, he been acting weird. She was like, why you say that? I was like, because I've been with him for a long time. And she was like, um... She was like, nah, I can't even read him. He's so quiet, you know. I said, okay, girl, well, let me know if anything happened. He tries anything. She was like, yeah, girl, I got you. Next thing you know, this dumbass guy, he picks her up, takes her to my motherfucking salon indicator, takes her to my motherfucking hairstylist. Mind you, I've been trying to be a better person. I've been sober for two months. I stopped drinking. I stopped smoking. I have been sober to clear my mind. So I would try to dust it under. Okay, that was one thing. When he went on YouTube and made that long ass sloth fucking YouTube special. I don't know who gave him a YouTube Netflix special. That shit was so boring. And he was lying talking about, yeah, I'm in a six bedroom house. Okay, so come get your dog. If you're in a six-bedroom house. Try again, motherfucker. And so, I had people calling me talking about, you know who house he at, right? Come to find out, he's in her house, claiming it's his house. That is so embarrassing. Okay? I spoke my piece. I let it slide. But yesterday, the last, this is the last tie. Okay? He's been stealing money from my accounts. He's been stealing, stealing, stealing. Like, he has been draining me. And I have been trying to protect him because I don't want to embarrass him. Because you're not strong. You're weak. You're weak. And I've been trying to protect you. And that's to embarrass me and my children and my family. And not to embarrass myself and, and us for 10 years. I've been trying to be couple goals. I've been living and I've been trying to make things work to, for everybody else but myself. So, the last straw that he, I had, our connected, is the Maserati, okay? I unlinked all our bank account. I unlinked, unlinked my email, my YouTube. I unlinked everything to where he couldn't make no more money. So, the last thing he has is the Maserati. I get, I, w- I was playing, I was like, how do I get my Maserati back? Do I call the police to try to get my car back? Because clearly the car is in my name. The car is, is in my motherfucking name. The, the fucking loan is in my name in the Maserati. So, yesterday, I went to pick up the car. Okay, so when I went to pick up the car, I had to pay over $4,000. This motherfucker had made a payment since May. I'm already pissed off about that. Then I had to pay $700 to get it out the impound. Already pissed off. But I'm like, okay, thank God. God looked out for me and, you know, got it impound. First off, it got impound. This shit had no insurance on it and it had no tax. This is what triggered me when I went into the car. Okay, I opened up the car. It's nothing but orange fucking hair in the driver's seat. Nappy hair. This bitch wears orange hair all the fucking time. Okay? Bitch, I know it's your hair. Okay? I know it's your house. I know it's your hair. And the fact that I asked you, girl to girl, and you fucking lied to me, bitch. And then I go in the car, that shit triggered me. And then her ass just dropped, and it was like ding dong. No, no, no. Pop, pop, guess who, bitch? Pop, pop, guess who, bitch? Ling, ling. <laughs> So the orange hair pissed me off. So you telling me this bum ass bitch been driving around in a car that's in my name? Sis, what the fuck did you think he had? You thought he had money, sis? He's a fucking bum. A stealing ass bum. And I don't even want to talk about him like that because I've been trying to bite my tongue and protect him. But no, there's just so much that I can fucking take. You have taken, taken. Not only are you taking from me, you are taking away from your own children. Remy, I, I pay all of these the bills. By myself. I pay $15,000. Buy myself a bills every fucking month. 
You are taking from your own children and you letting this... That Ronald okay. McDonald had this. So I said, all right, you missed your package because I was trying to deliver you these hands. But since, you know, you ain't want to come, come to the shop. <laughs> I go to the shop today. She never shows up. It's getting even. It's like 5 o'clock. And that's when I call her. She let her friend answer the phone. I'm like, I've been waiting for you all day. Like, what's up? Like, I thought you was going to pull up. I mean, if you're bold enough, if you are bold enough to do some whole shit, you should be bold enough to fight me. I don't get it. If you tell me to pull up. And I come to pull up. And you live an hour away. Shorty live far and coming like she, Shorty live far as fuck. Like, you had me waste my gas two times. Who is going to pay for my gas? Bum ass bitch. And so I go, I go to fucking the gas. I, I, I go to, I, I was like, okay, I'm away. Let me finish my clients, okay, because I got to make my money. And so how do you tell me to pull up? And then when we pull up, you guys are supposedly sitting outside on the porch waiting with hoodies on like y'all ready to fight. But then y'all call 15 fucking police officers surrounding the premises. I don't understand. Do you want to fight or do you want to be fucking 6 9 Do you want to be a snitch or do you want to fight? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. You tell me to pull up. I'm here. If you tell me to pull up, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. And if anybody said this for a story, like, no, I would never go back on that show. Okay? I don't need that shit. This shit was negative. This shit is draining. This is my real life. I don't give a fuck about no reality show. I make my money regardless. That shit is toxic. But it was just like, are you kidding me, bitch? You're not getting away with this shit. You're not gonna. You're not gonna fucking think you gonna get away. You can run, but to you me. can't hide. You're not gonna get away with disrespect to me, bitch. It's, it's not. It's not okay. Girl code. Whether you was my friend or you weren't my friend, bitch, you was still coming around for two years. So yeah, bitch. Where's your fucking loyalty, bitch? You're okay. Did you get beat up by a bunch of other people? Like, you got beat up before by a bunch of people. People tell you that you a hoe. People don't like you for a reason. This is the reason why, Britt. Because me call you're Stevie. a hoe. You're a hoe, bitch. You a hoe. And you a slum-ass hoe. A this is why bitch. nobody likes you. And you wonder why nobody likes you. Because, bitch, when people give you opportunities and people give you a chance to be a good person and a better person, you fucking around and you do some dumb-ass shit like this? Come Big on, shorty. Hoe. Like, come on. It's, it's, it's ABC. It's common sense. People don't like people that do whole shit. You do whole shit and wonder why people don't like you. Bitch, you're going to hell. People like you don't go upstairs. You're going to hell, bitch. So fuck you. I was ready. I even popped like fucking nails off of you. Now I gotta walk around like this. Because yes. you, bitch, don't tell me to pull up. Then you're gonna call the police. What the fuck is oh, you doing? Sorry. You got what you gonna do? walking around looking like you. Screw ass, hot hand. Screw ass, hoe. Mama ass, bitch. Talk about. We got screw <laughs> weak ass, hoe. Y'all so ghetto. <laughs> and that hoe weak as shit. <laughs> weak ass. And, bitch. and Brittany, you you're like fucking six foot tall. That's a big ass. I ain't fucking bitch. I'm five. Bitch, I'm five, bitch, I'm five, five foot. Tall. I'm fucking <laughs> five foot, bitch. Why are you calling the police? I don't understand. What do you need to call the police for? She's what dead. the fuck? She's what do you think are the consequences dead. when you do fuck ass shit? What the fuck did you thought I was just gonna let you Real get away with this shit? That ass. And really? y'all talking about uh, y'all out there who talking about? Oh, she need to check her husband. I already checked him. He deleted his whole Instagram. Next, next okay, you be checked. right? Next. Checked him. He's been checked enough. He lost his entire family. Check he lost his stuff. family. A fucking great family. I moved to Atlanta three years ago, bought two businesses, bought a home. But this house wasn't a home because he's a fucking bum. Okay? He already is suffering. He lost his fucking family. There's nothing else beside that. You lost a family. You lost the only person that tried to believe in you, who is believed in you. You lost the only person that ride that for you. He can he can't even suffer no more than that. But bitch, for you, I need you to understand why. Like, okay, we're going to have a therapist moment, okay? Just Brittany, somebody's going to show you this. Okay. <laughs> no money to replace her lace front. <laughs> <laughs> you know that wig stick. <laughs> that was wearing that job for a whole year. For real. For real. Wait, my baby having a moment. You have time. to understand, Brittany. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud and ghetto. <laughs> Shh. 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 Sh
The reason why nobody likes you and the reason why you have no friends is because you do fuck shit like this. This is why. Nobody likes you on the show because you do shit like this. You have to understand at one point in your life because you're still young and you're going to still live more and you're going to meet more people in this universe. You have to realize, Brittany, when you do shit like this, nothing is going to prosper and people are going to not like you. And in life, Somebody's gonna catch you, and I will be the one when I see you because you don't want to. She didn't. What happened to the good old days when you you want to fight somebody? You're like, all right, well, bitch, meet me at Sunshine Park. Well, all right, bitch, meet me right here. Meet me around the corner. Meet me around my house. Meet me in the yard. Meet me at the park. What happened to those good old days? And then we just fight it out. What happened to those good old days? Now we gotta call polices. We gotta call squad, squad. Like this bitch called like fifteen polices. Bitch, I'm five foot. What do you need fucking fifteen police for? You're a six foot Amazon bitch. And that's what right are you police. scared for? If you are bold enough to do some whole shit, be bold enough to catch these motherfucking hands. Fifth period. Who? Stop fucking. Stop. Stop blaming everything. It gets to a point in life when you continuously to have the same problem okay when people continue to say the same things about you that mean there is truth behind it if nobody likes you for a reason it, my eyebrow fucked up if nobody continues to like you of the same reason bitch it's time to check yourself it's time for you to look in the mirror and realize that you are a fucked up individual you are a fucked up individual you have fucking issues you need help you don't know what loyalty is and you don't know how to be a good person. And I'm sorry to say, just Brittany, that I rebuke you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And if you continue to do the things you do, you will burn in the shadow of death for eternity. That's all I have to say. And if you want to catch these hands, you can call me. You know my number. Oh my God, she changed her number today. After her friend is vote. Why we call her of every number? Do, do, do. This number has been disconnected. <laughs> you have reached the number of dumbass hoe. Stupid. Change your fucking life, bitch. Change your life. Sometimes you have to step away. Okay, I try to step away, y'all, but it just, it just kept coming for me. I wanted to leave this shit alone. I didn't even want to talk about this shit. I didn't want to embarrass my family, but y'all had to fucking go there. Why do you have to fucking push my buttons? Why did you have to go on the elevator and just push all the motherfucking <laughs> buttons, okay? I didn't want to talk about this shit. I didn't want to go there, okay? I am trying to grow out of the fucking hood rat shit, okay? I don't just pop up on Google when you fucking Google the most ratchet Asian girl for no reason, okay? <laughs> Bitch, I'm about that life. I'm about that fucking life. If you tell me to pull up, I'm going to pull up. But if you're going to tell me to pull up and call the police, <laughs> bitch, you need help. You need fucking help. You need fucking help. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't understand why. Why do you hold... You are Hollywood a lot now. Why? Why? Why do you guys do sh fuck shit? As a human being, you should know right from wrong. You're a grown-ass woman. Rem, you're a grown-ass man. Y'all should know right from wrong. You should live life and know what is wrong, what is right, what is fucked up. And know that there are fucking consequences behind it. I never fucking cheated. No matter what this fuck-ass motherfucker did to me, I never fucking cheated until, until I was done. Until I was fucking done. It's, it's not in me. Like, y'all need to be baptized in, in the freaking Jordan River. This shit is ridiculous. And don't act like you about that life if you're going to call the popo. You're going to call fucking 5 -0. You're fucking ridiculous. You have fucking issues. You need fucking help. Either you want to be about that life or you want to be a snitch. It's fucking up to you. I, at the end of the day, you already proved yourself that you a fucking snitch. And you're scared of a fucking little chihuahua. Bitch, I'm five foot. You're six foot. Bitch, you're like, what did I say earlier? I said, Lord, give me the strength. Give me the same strength that you gave David and Goliath. <laughs> I was gonna come over there with a slingshot. Boop! The bigger they are, the harder they fall. For real. For real. How she go? <laughs> but I, I, I really, I really want to move forward with my life. Um, you know, I've been praying and I've been cleansing, and just, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. And you're always hungry. Leave me alone. <laughs>
Okay. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna bother y'all if y'all don't fucking bother me. Okay? I mind my fucking business. I do my motherfucking nails. I post my fucking promos. I take care of my kids. And I do fucking Fasta Nova. Make your bed over. Well, what I was gonna say? Okay. <laughs> I wear my Fasta Nova. I tell you move over. Then I run you over in my Range Rover. Free. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Uh, and then she charged you five more dollar, honey. <laughs> so, you know, I, I just don't understand. You, you, you need fucking help. I'm gonna pray for both of y'all. I swear. Let's have a moment of prayer, dear Lord. Okay, let's have, let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we come as humbly as we can to you, dear God. For we know that you are the Father of Omega and the Creator, dear God. And I know that no weapon for was against me shall prosper, O oh God. And that through you, through life, through faith, I can make it through anything, O oh God. But for the devil is strong upon me, and dear God. And I pray for them. And I pray that you deliver and rebuke all the dark entity and the demon away from them, dear God. For they know no better because they are stupid. But I shall prosper and I shall make it through because I have faith in you. I believe in you. And I know that no matter where I go in life, I cannot succeed without your love and your power. And I pray that you will open up Remy's eyes and allow him to grow as a man and as a father so he can take care of his kids. And I pray that she will open up her eyes and realize what she is doing is demonic and will not get nowhere. I pray that you open up her soul and protect her from all evil. Because if they don't, they shall burn in hell. And I believe in you, and I believe that you shall move me forward. And I pray that you give each and every woman out here that is going any, through anything similar to me, that you give them the power and the strength to leave a toxic relationship. For nothing in life is worth losing your sanity. And I thank you, God, for walking me through this, opening up my eyes, and allowing me to defeat this demon, defeat this toxic relationship, and allowing me to move on and move forward, dear God. And I thank you so much. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And one last thing. Y'all women, stop messing with these fucking married men. Because you're going to get your Thank shit. God I wasn't even married. Oh, my God. God is good. God is good. Okay? I'm done, you guys. Amen. Okay? Now leave me alone. And go down low never again. <laughs> and wait until the video drop. Okay? I pray for a gift and I found your receipts. Now I gotta take it all back. Never again. So leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. If you're not gonna fight me, then leave me alone. <laughs> if you don't wanna pop up, guess who, bitch? Pop up, guess who, bitch? Ling ling. <laughs> okay, now leave me alone. I'm gonna bed. I'm tired. I have to go to work tomorrow. So y'all walk into Welcome to pull up to both shops. Old Travala Nail Lounge 1, Old Travala Nail Lounge 2. From College Park to Decatur at 5046 Old National Highway. And 4712 Memorial Drive. Support, um, support my nail tech. Support all black nail techs, any color nail techs. I have Puerto Rican, I have blacks, and then there's me. And, oh yeah, Asian too. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Um, let's just let's be done. I want to close this chapter of my life. I think I lost somebody very special because I couldn't get rid of the hood rat in me. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm about that life. And sometimes you have to let me free myself, heal myself. But I'm a great person. I'm a good person. And sometimes the good people always get hurt. But until then, don't fuck with me if you're going to call the police. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>